This is the Animation Desk. It's a animation app that you can use on your phone and on uh, an iPad. And it also has a Windows variant too, but its beauty is the fact that it, you can use um, your fingers to do the animating. So let's have a quick look through the setup here. So in this uh, homepage here, you have Recent and Annie Zone. That's an animation community that you can upload your content to. And um, you can create your own sequences um, with the Recent button, and we'll get into that in a moment. So we can, uh, if we go, go across the bottom here, we can click on Sequence, and we can see my sequences. The walk, frog, and bird sequences are examples that um, are in the animation app as it opens up. And you can see I've made a watering and sun sequence. And then we can click on the storyboard and I can make a storyboard. And the storyboard allows you to uh, roughly put sequences together, which you can then obviously uh, put into another program later on and edit. Um, under the free version, you can only have one storyboard at a time. So that might be a um, limitation for this. However, you can export each sequence. So if you have iMovie, for example, you can export each sequence, put them into iMovie, and then you could edit them together there. So it, that's not too much of an issue. Uh, the KDAN Cloud is some, some storage for you to upload stuff to, but if you've got um, Google Drive, it's not a problem. And then you can click on your settings over here, which you can go through. Um, you can upgrade this to an education account. Uh, it's a couple of dollars a week. I'm not sure whether that's uh, US or Kiwi dollars. Um, so that's the kind of overview of the main um, app. And next we're going to look at the tools for actually doing the drawing. So let's have a look at the tools that are available to us and we'll look at the sequences in a moment. So we're going to click on the plus sign under recent here and we can make a new storyboard. We, we can only make one, so I've already got my storyboard made. You can upload content from the camera roll um, or you can upload your own files, but let's just look in this particular tutorial at the tools and do doing your own drawing before we get too complicated. So we're gonna click on new sequence. And here you can uh, tap to type a name. So let's just call this uh, sequence. I don't know what I'm gonna do here. Sequence three, we can name that later. Um, and what you can do is you can set a background color. So if I wanted to set a background color, I can just scroll around here and decide I'm going to have a perhaps a, a blue sky kind of background I can do. We can look at that a little bit later on. It's quite a good thing to do quite quickly. So I might uh, just move this twirl around here. That'll do us. And I can set the duration. I can always add more later on, but at the moment we're going to have a two second duration to my clip. It's going to be 24 frames long. It's going to be 12 frames per second. So it's going to last two seconds, obviously. And I can change this if you want to up the frame rate. That's more drawings you've got to make. So 30 frames per second is uh, full HD. 12 frames per second is probably as good as you need for what you're trying to create. So I've named my sequence, decided to make a color for my background, set the duration, set the frame rate, um, and um, number of frames I'm going to be working with. I'm going to click on start for this sequence. And here is the setup. Now, if you're you if you're um, know anything about animation, this um, setup here is a, a typical animator's desk. So you've got the register register keys at the bottom here, the flipping paper, the flip that you would go backwards and forward with your onion skin. So you can depending if you're left or right handed, you can rotate your um, animation desk. Um, ordinarily, if this is a real um, animation desk, the yellow part here would have a light underneath it, so you can do the onion skinning. Um, but we're going to do that with layers. So here's my background. As a, um, you can zoom in, I put a grid on here. That's my default at the moment. So let's just have a look around this. So I'm to make this bigger and smaller, I'm using two fingers to pinch to expand um, and pinch to make smaller. Um, you can see over here on the right hand side, I've got the background. I'm on layer one, which is highlighted in yellow. I've got th um, three layers in total I can work with. I can add more layers. At the bottom here, you can see my frames on my timeline. There's nothing happening here at the moment, um, but that's what's going on at the moment. Um, I, I can see my frame number at the bottom right, um, bottom left, sorry. Um, and over here on the left, you can see the 57 represents the pen size, the size of the nib I'm working with. Um, and the 100% is the um, opacity of the color I'm working with. I'm working with black at the moment in the top. Let right hand corner we've got the tools now on the free version the tool palette is very limited um, you don't get text at all on the pro um, on the free version that's only available in the pro so let's have a look inside the pen function here if we click on this 
and you, um, I'm not sure what the gift means. I think you probably have to do some, watch some videos or do something to get these. Um, so there's one tool per, um, a, per palette. So we've got a, a nib tool, a pencil tool, a brush tool, a marker tool. And this tool here allows you to smudge things again, but you've only got one option all the way through. Click on the eraser. A erase is pretty simple. There's, that's all it does is erase. We've got the fill bucket. Um, and we've got this option here with this color wheel at the end. So we can now set whether we want the slider or palette is entirely up to you. Um, I like to use the color wheel. So you just rotate the color around the outside here and you can um, set your tone, whether it's dark or light, so we can move to the, the right hue and then you can set the, the, um, the right dark color and we can work from there. You can use the eyedropper as well. Um, so let's, um, what else would we look at here? Oh yes, and down the bottom here, we've got um, some tools here. I like to make, I like to shoot here. If we look at uh, more settings over here, I like to uh, do my work at 16 to nine because that's the format for um, most um, HD TVs now rather than four to three or one to one. So 16 to nine is what I've chosen. And if I click on this, you'll see um, the area that with the dotted marks is where the 16 to nine area for my animation will be. And so we can click on onion skin here, onion skin opacity. So we, we can make it um, quite opaque. I quite like that. Color coded onion skin, that's pro. Uh, onion skin at top, that'd be great. Um, click on your grid. Click on your stylus, that's fine. Apple Pencil, that's what I've got. Um, but you can use your finger as well. And that's all we've got done in here. So now we're good to start drawing. So now we can start drawing um, and you need to start thinking in terms of layers. And certainly it's a good com uh, computational thinking skill to get into. How am I going to animate uh, an object very easily? Um, and it's a, you have to kind of deconstruct everything. So for example, if this is my sky, I want to um, put some ground in. So I'm going to use my pen tool. So I'm going to choose a pen tool over here. I'm going to choose a color. And so I'm just going to, let's make it green here. That's good. So I'm just going to click on the pen tool here and I'm going to choose the marker tool. Just make sure it's still green. No, it's not. This is a bit of a issue here. I need to double check. So yep. That's all good now. And if you also want to do that, I've made the right pen choice. I can also do my marker per colors over here so I can still tweak this if I wanted to. That's what I'm gonna do. So now with my um, dotted line in mind here, I'm now going to draw a, on layer, uh, layer one, my ground. So now I'm going to use the fill tool to um, fill this. That's the color I want. I'm gonna use the dropper tool here and I want to, the dropper tool to pick that pick that color hopefully it has nope still hasn't got it got the wrong one so dropper tool again come down to here that's what I want and so now if I click on the pen tool click on here it fills it for me so now I've got this um, fill layer and so if we look at this I can see that I've got my ground which is what I, which is what I want for my animation but if you look at cell one here and cell two, I don't want to have to keep making that. So what I can do now is I can, if I press and hold on this, I can click on the duplicate um, function here and I can say for how many frames I want this particular feature to be duplicated. So let's put it for 10 frames, click done. And you can now see all the way across here, I've still, so I've added 10 new frames, if you like, to my um, uh, timeline. But that's okay, but I can because I know that's going to be static. So if I, I can draw something else now if I wanted to on layer two and do the same thing. Let's draw a, a quick tree or something. I don't know. There's my tree. So now I want to duplicate that. Let's just do this again. Duplicate that for 10 frames. There we go. And so now I've got the, my tree for 10 frames. And so now let's start looking at some animation. So obviously what we want to do now is we want to animate. And this is where the beauty of the onion skin comes in. The onion skin is basically like, like tracing paper so you can see through. So I'm going to draw a cloud and I'm going to animate the cloud. So let's again, just choose the color. 
Now I can fill that, uh, but I'm just going to leave that for the minute. So I'm now going to slide along to my next slide. And you can see that this is the, now the onion skin. That's where it's like a new layer on top. That's where my cloud on the previous frame was, and I want it to move. So I'm going to draw again over the top, and this time I'm going to just, just keep going across like this, and you can see where my cloud was. And I'll just, just keep going across, do this very roughly. And so we can, as we scroll through, we can see how our cloud will seem to move across the sky. And this is how the animation comes together. Now, initially when we started, we had um, 24 frames in our sequence. And because we've added things now, we've got 44 frames. So we might want to delete some of these. Um, and you can delete frames, individual frames, or delete them in sequence. So if I, if I click on this, I can just click on delete. Just keep deleting frames delete. And so um, you can get your animation the way you want it. So we might put this sequence into um, our timeline. So let's, let's go ahead and do that now. Let's click, click back on home. So let's have a look at some of the sequences. So I'm going to put these all together now. So here's a sequence of an, an animation I did earlier. And you can see pretty much the same sort of thing. I can click play on this. And you can just watch it go through. That's it. It just, will just keep repeating. Um, let's come back. Click on the, on the watering one, same thing. Have a look at this. Click play. And so we've got now got three sequences that we can put together. So I'm going to come back to home, click on my um, storyboard. Here's my storyboard. And I want to add another sequence. I want to add the sequence number three. Click add. And that's now in my timeline and I can now export this as a, as a video if I wanted to so just click share this I want to share it let's just call it um, and so this very crudely has been animated together or linked together obviously if you just export each sequence individually um, you will um, it's going to process this now but this has been sent to my photo library and I can obviously share it through each of those things as well. So this app is a very, very good little app that you can use to create little animations. And if you put it into another program, a looping program um, like uh, iMovie, you can probably turn these little videos into GIFs. Um, and st students who are good, have got good level of skill can make some very, um, very, very good uh, uh, movies. So I hope that you make the most of it in your classroom.